Hello everyone, Last Pixel here. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different of what I usually post on my channel. And I do believe that it's going to affect most of you sooner or later. As some of you already know, I'm about to upgrade to a newer phone, with which I plan to bring more quality into my videos for you guys to enjoy. Don't get me wrong, that is all great now, but recently I started to think, is this going to affect my channel in any other way other than the improvement? So I did a little research, and by little, I do mean a lot on the whole thing. And what I found was a bit concerning. Almost all of the games that I played up until this point on the channel have a way to back up the player's progress. This is there to ensure that whatever happens, you can continue where you left off without having to worry about losing everything and having to start anew. Now, every app is doing this in a different way. I'm not gonna bore you to death with info about that. However, one of them isn't. As you already guessed from the title of this video, I'm talking about Don't Starve Pocket Edition and I do believe Shipwrecked as well. Currently, the biggest problem with Don't Starve Pocket Edition is that there is no freaking way to back up the user data or to sync it to multiple devices. You're probably thinking to yourself, hey, that's not really that big of a problem. It doesn't affect my gaming. And here's where you're wrong. Yes, I do acknowledge the fact that it doesn't interfere with your current gameplay, however, it most certainly will sooner or later. Let's take for example the fact that you're gaming on a piece of tech that may or may not survive for long. What happens when you decide to get a new phone like me? Either because your old phone died or you're due for an upgrade. The short answer? There isn't really much you can do right now except maybe trying to grant yourself root access on your current phone or jailbreaking it for you iOS people out there and trying with an app like Titanium Backup which does indeed backup user data from an app. Of course, with all of that comes a massive risk of you turning your phone into a lovely 4 inch brick. The thing is that if you don't have that much playtime in the game that is not gonna be an issue. However, let's face the fact. Don't Starve is a game that usually involves a lot of playtime if you want to progress in it and that's part of the fun. So next you're gonna probably search for an alternative mean to back up your precious saves just like me. I've searched like every other person would, first on Google and then on YouTube for information. After that, I even searched in the official Don't Start forum in hopes that I will find something. Heck, I even tested a few apps that claim that they can back up user data without the need of elevated permissions, but needless to say, all of them failed miserably. So when I was almost ready to give up, I decided to contact Clay Entertainment directly. I managed to get a hold of their email via the Play Store, so I wrote them a few questions regarding their whole thing. Immediately after sending the email, I received an automatic reply from them containing a ticket number and links to their support page and official forum. The email stated that maybe I can find the answer that I'm looking for there, and if I didn't, I should reply back to the same email. So I searched, and searched, and searched some more. But unfortunately, I didn't find anything in regards to that problem. So, of course, I did the next step. I replied back to the email, stating the fact that there isn't anything on those places that can help me, and I started waiting for them to reply back, hopefully with a solution to my dilemma. Now, it's been almost a month, and I still don't have a reply from them, or a viable solution to my problem. This is where you guys, and where this video comes to play. I've created it not only to raise awareness for the problem, but also to let you guys know what is happening. If we can get enough people to see it, there is a slim chance that there will be a big enough reaction from the community that Clay cannot ignore. I'm really hoping that they can introduce an update which fixes the problem in the near future, but for now, Unfortunately, I guess we're stuck where we are. I'll try to continue the series on my channel from my old phone for as long as possible. However, I probably would need to start all over again on the new one eventually. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the whole situation. And as always guys, stay awesome. Peace.